So I'm working on the outside of this piston. This is the um, irregular piece of uh, plastic that I've started out with. Gradually turning this down till it's about the right uh, shape, although clearly too big for the um, piston. Drilling a hole, or, or the cylinder, it, at this instance, drilling a hole through the center and now I have uh, rebated it so the nut can fit in there as you can see that's all pretty good I'm now going to take it out of the vise reverse it just as I discussed with you centering it up around that hole that I drilled through the middle and now what we're doing is just machining uh, the front of this because it was too thick in total and now that I've done that, I'm just working on this, and once again, it's all been rebated, and that is around about the right shape. So I'm drilling this out now with a drill which will allow me to put um, a tap through the middle of this, um, all you can see is my shirt sleeve, through the middle of this uh, piston. Once I've done that, I've taken it out, put a piece of uh, thread into it, bolted it on either side, the vise is now holding on to that, which makes this a lot more tricky to get right. So I'm going to spend a fair bit of time getting this as close to perfect as I can. And now I've got it in the lathe. I'm happy with this. I'm testing out the thickness of this uh, small cylinder. And clearly I've got some work to do. So I'm trimming it down, putting a bit of um, uh, care into, this, into the width of this because as you know what I want to happen is precisely that, a perfect sliding fit. Now I can put into it the two grooves that I need for the two O-rings and I'm just using a parting tool um, to do this and I can just run it right down to the depth that I have discussed straight away and in terms of the width I'm just using um, just going to use a ruler in order to do that and just do it by eye. That's not particularly hard. It's very easy uh, working with plastic, as you can see. Now we do the other eye ring. Measure it up. Pretty happy with that. And now the final step was to tr is, is just to try out the um, O-rings. They fit nicely. I'm going to take this one now back off and just take, I think it's 4 mil, didn't I say, this final slice off the outside. And now you can see this fitting as close to perfectly as you'd wish. That is just delightful. And with a bit of, um, of lubricant in there, it works quite nicely. Without a lubricant, it's, it's a bit stiff. But, you know, I don't want to get into topics that um, alarm you here. But um, that's, that's now working very nicely. So this is the thread uh, that bolts this together and I've got now some copper tube and I need to put a slot in this. Um, this is part of this design that I use and I've bolted the Dremel into my lathe uh, tool stand and I'm now just going to cut through this, uh, this is high speed, cut through this piece of brass so that I have now got a slot that I can work with in this um, and, and you'll see what this is for in a minute it's all about uh, arranging the start and finish stops for the, um, uh, for the piston it's always a good idea to clean the lathe between uh, instances so now I have got onto the um, uh, I've, you can see I've bolted this new motor on I've made a piece of brass which will hold this um, tube with a slot in it. And what I'm doing now is thinking through how I'm going to hold that tube onto the back of this um, uh, gearbox. It's interesting. I've made these. I've made this gearbox, and it's actually hold, holding together with what, what are the equivalent of brass wood screws. So I've taken it off and now I'm putting um, some thread into the slots on the inside of the gearbox. Once again, it's really handy. You put a bit of glue on a thread 
uh, on a screw and screw it in and it will never come out. It'll be great. And I can bolt my, um, my thread holding mechanism onto that. Now I'm just obviously going to silver solder this on. I actually used the uh, Dremel then to cut a slot out of that um, uh, little plate at the end as well, otherwise that would be a problem. Um, I'm using the same gluing in process here now onto the internal baffle so that this will now hold the, um, the gearbox. I'm checking the size of this and we're making sure the screws don't foul the um, cylinder. Now I've got some epoxy on the cylinder and this is the great moment when we actually install the cylinder and um, let it harden. I've actually scored the outside of that cylinder as well with a bit of sandpaper just so that the epoxy has plenty to stick to. And I'm using obviously a set square to make sure that it's all square and I'm very happy with the result overall. So here is the piston going in for the first time. And that's, that's moving pretty nicely. It's certainly not going to leak. This is not going to leak. So I'm bolting on the motor for the first time. And testing it for the first time. It's pretty slow, but it's running on 6 volts, not 12 but I'm actually becoming concerned because I think this motor um, is not really good enough and I'm just, I've got this nagging in the back of my brain so I went on eBay and I purchased the next size up also 12 volt, also um, 100 RPM and I'm going to replace it shortly but this is what it looks like, it's all looking, it's very, very clean, very nice um, of course it looks a bit butchered because I've um, um, changed what was a, a previously finished gearbox. I've now got the thread, I'm putting a slot into the end of that. I'm putting a little tab of brass into the end of it. And this is going to explain the slot in a moment. That's now nicely on. And I've now got this slot. I've cut through the plate as you can see. And this thread now fits it and it holds it nicely, stable, as the piston goes up and down. What's more, the point is that that tab will allow me to add um, uh, micro switches. So this is the mechanism as it is now. And that all looks, uh, looks okay. But what I want to do now is add this motor instead, a much, much more powerful motor, much stronger motor. Now, the problem is this gearbox has not really been designed to do this very well. So this is a bit of a question. How do I get that onto there?